All right, guys, some really cool stuff to talk about here. The people at Barracuda were kind enough to send me two nets a little over a year ago. I haven't done any videos on them at all because I wanted to use them for a good amount of time, see what they're about, see if they can hold up to what we do. You know, in the Northeast, it's a whole lot different than throwing a cast net in Florida. Florida is nasty, don't get me wrong. You have all kinds of nasty hazards, but up in the Northeast, we're using fresh water. We're throwing on stump fields and creeks, bushes and crappy puddles and hurdles and all kinds of horrible stuff that we deal with in fresh water. So I've been throwing this in salt, fresh, rivers, lakes, oceans, bays, sounds, the whole deal. A little over a year and I finally feel that I can talk about it and I, I have enough confidence in it to know what I'm talking about. Very impressed with the net. The price is, is very reasonable. They start at like 109 bucks, something like that. Go up to 250, 260 maybe. You can get them custom made in just a few weeks. What I like about them uh, battle wounded veterans run the company. I own the company you're running. Really cool people. You can call them talk and we'll talk nets and fishing for forever really. Really cool people. Uh, what I really like about the net, a few things. Sinking mono. They extrude their own mono which sinks. They have lots of options. You can order your net custom right there on their little thing on their website. Double salvage down by the lead lines. Double salvage up at the horn. They even have weighted horn options. Now, another reason I took a long time to do this is it took me a while to get used to the weighted horn. They sent me a few with weighted horns, which are really nice for deep water. I really didn't see a benefit to it in 5, 10, 15 feet of water, even like 18, 20, I really didn't see a benefit. But over 20 feet deep for herring, I saw a massive improvement, massive benefit. What happens is when your net hits the water, it lays flat. The lead sinks super fast. So in the first 5, 6, 8, 10 feet, it sinks really quick. But as soon as it gets the lead sinks far enough to parachute that mono, wow, does it slow it down. And when that mono slows the lead down, it parachutes and closes the net. If you see it underwater, any underwater uh, video of it, it's really incredible how quick the net closes. So this deal is when it lands flat, the lead sinks quick, but that weighted horn is pushing the top of the net down as well. So it stays open three times as wide in 30 feet of water. And I noticed a big difference in 30 feet of water. I don't recommend the weighted horn if you're just throwing on gizzard shad or even bunker or you know pogies in less than 15, 20 feet of water. If you're a deep water guy, the weighted horn is awesome. But if you're not, you don't need the weighted horn. Their big separated segregated horn is awesome. Let's take a look at the net. Okay, 30 foot hand line, very soft, very nice. This is a 3 8 net. So I was using for deep water herring. Uh, this one here I've only thrown a few times. That's why it looks so nice and clean. The other one I was throwing, it looks a whole lot less clean. Here's our weighted horn. You see the separations? Their big plastic horn is separated like this too. Really nice, stops a lot of tangles. You know, hey, your uh, braille lines get all twisted sometimes. Dub double salvage here at the horn. Just look at that. For a 3 8 mesh, that is beautiful. 3 8 mesh. This is 1.6 pounds per foot. This is a custom here, 3 8 I also was throwing a uh, mullet net for our bunker. Marble lead, double salvage down here at the lead line. Very soft net, sinking mono, super, super quality net. They also have a lifetime warranty, which is nuts. If you tear this net up, all you have to do is send the lead line back and they have a prorated warranty, really cool. Go, go to uh, their website to check that out. It's barracudatackle.com. You can go to sales at barracudatackle.com to uh, talk to them and ask them what you think you might need and we'll recommend nets for you. This is the, I call it the old school method. Just when I was very young and trying to figure out a method that I liked, I ended up just playing with it forever and ever and I kind of made up my own method. So very simple, really good for a big net. It's a 10 foot net. You've probably seen me do this in some other videos, but not with the Barracuda. So that armpit height here, grab it all again. Have it all in my left hand here. Okay. Put it over my elbow. 
slide it up. Arms length here. Grab the remaining lead. About half of it. Okay, now I'm just going to put my back to my target. I'm just going to spin the lead. I'm going to throw the lead, not the net. Hands are going to go from low to high, and I'm just going to let go with two hands. No spinning or twisting, okay? Got a big old gizzard shad in here. Well, the net works. What do you say, Kyle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Be free. Well, there you go. What's nice about this method is you can throw a heavy, heavy net. This is heavy with that extra weight of that weighted horn. You put the idea is the weight is on your shoulder more instead of all in one hand or the other. Really, really simple method. No spinning, twisting, no triple load, nothing in your mouth. You will get wet if you throw it all day, but you can throw it all day without getting tired. So check out their nets here, barracudatackle.com. Really cool nets. Awesome people over there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Love you guys. Mean it. All right, I'll show you how to throw the team old school method here. Coiled up the rope. I'm going to grab the horn backwards here. Okay, I'm going to go about shoulder, a little lower than shoulder height. Right here. Maybe armpit height. I'm going to grab it again right here. Okay. I'm going to lift the net. Grab the lead line, put it over my left elbow here. Pull it up, okay. Give it an arm's length hanging on my pinky. I'm gonna grab about half the remaining lead here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn and let her rip. Both hands to the sky. I'm not gonna spin, twist, or pull it. Just hands to the sky.